in the name of the one holy and undivided Trinity. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. So I wonder how many people here have said these words. Oh my goodness, how is it December already? <laughs> Sometimes it just feels like time can't be real, doesn't it? The week that feels like it drags on for months when you're waiting for, for a call from your doctor with test results cannot be the same time that allowed your child to go from a newborn to a teenager in the blink of an eye. There is absolutely no way that the time that speeds by when you're on vacation is the same time that drags on while you're sitting in class waiting for the bell to ring for winter break. As we go through life, it really feels like time speeds up and slows down and even in big moments, like it stops entirely. But before we know it, it starts back up again and life keeps going. Life keeps moving along. Today we hear the voice of one crying out in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make his path straight. When we hear this in Advent, I don't know about you, but what I usually hear is, prepare for Christmas. I think about the birth of the Christ child. I think about hospitality and caring for our neighbors in this season. A season that for us can be cold and dangerous and lonely for so many. And I wonder how we can care for them during this holy time. I picture a race to the finish line of Christmas being an extra good Christian during the month of December, preparing myself and the world for the coming of Jesus incarnate. Prepare the way of the Lord. But of course, if we stop to think about it, we know that this is so much more than a call to decorate our homes or buy gifts for our kids' teachers or donate extra food during this month. We know that as Christ followers, we are always preparing the way of the Lord. We are always working for the coming of the kingdom. We are always ushering God's light into the here and now. So come December 26th or January 1st or February 20th or whatever date, how will we continue the work of preparing the way of the Lord? How are we called to continue to prepare ourselves, prepare our homes, prepare our communities for God made present? How are we called to continue to usher in the coming of the kingdom? But that can feel overwhelming, can't it? It's one thing to be preparing and planning and working extra hard in December when you know that December 26th will come and your work will be done, and you can rest. It's a whole other thing when this is our life, when day after day, year after year, we continue to prepare, continue to usher the Lord into our midst. That can be daunting, and that can be exhausting. When we look around us and we see the pains of this world, when we hear about another shooting, when we get news of another family member who is sick, when we see another child struggling, when we hear news of hunger and homelessness and struggle and war, it can feel like there is too much to be done. It can feel like there is no way we can sort out this mess enough to prepare the way for God, to make this place even a fraction of okay enough for the kingdom to be made known on earth. For those of you who joined us this past Thursday for our Advent meditation, we started this process a bit. We did a meditation about finding peace within us. And I think that is the very first step in creating peace in our world, 
finding peace within ourselves. When we ourselves are at peace, we make wise choices. When we are at peace, we are better able to care for our neighbor and our planet. When we are at peace, we can help others be at peace. Peace, we find, is like a pebble on a lake. When it start, what starts with one person at peace ripples out and can impact person after person. Peace begets peace. Peace in our world can be hard to find. Peace during the holiday season can be even harder to find. With Christmas shopping and decorating and holiday parties, with family gatherings and cooking larger meals. And then, of course, you throw in the usual work into the mix and shoveling snow and traveling. There can be a lot going on around us. Even when a lot of that stuff is joyful, it can make it harder to center ourselves and find inner peace. So this Advent, as we prepare the way for the Lord, let us start from within. Let us prepare our spirits for the Lord. Let us prepare our hearts for the Lord. Let us prepare our souls for the Lord. Trusting in that quiet space that God will meet us where we are and fill our lives with peace that surpasses all understanding. The peace that, sur that can surpass what we see on the news. The peace that can surpass stress at work or fear for our health or anxiety about the unknown. This Advent, let us seek peace. And beyond that, as we prepare the way for the Lord, let us seek peace. Because time is an interesting thing, isn't it? Today, when we are told to prepare the way for the Lord, we are simultaneously doing so in past, present, and future. Today we are told to prepare the way for the Lord. We are told this in Advent because we are preparing the way for the birth of Jesus. God made human 2,000 years ago and today. Today we are told to prepare the way for the Lord. We are told this by John the Baptist, who is preparing for adult Jesus to really ramp up his earthly ministry who is preparing his followers to be ready for Jesus and the work he will do. Today we are told to prepare the way of the Lord. We are told this in 2023, to prepare the way for God to be known in our world here and now. We are told to prepare ourselves and our communities to welcome God into our midst. Today we are told to prepare the way of the Lord. We are told this as we are raising the next generation to continue on, to, co to continue to work for the kingdom, to continue to care for God's people, continue to await Christ's coming. We are all at once preparing for a baby Jesus to be born, for an adult Jesus to start his ministry, for God here and now to be made known. Time can be a tricky thing, can't it? But do not ignore this fact, beloved, that with the Lord, one day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years are like one day. We believe in a God who is beyond time, a God who knew you and loved you at the beginning of time, a God who has loved creation for millions of years and will continue to prepare a way for us to know and love God now a God who will seek us when we are lost, and a God who will wait for us to be ready to come to God. So, as we prepare the way for the Lord yesterday and today and tomorrow, let us prepare our hearts for the Lord with peace. Let us find peace deep within our souls. Let us seek the peace that surpasses all understanding. Let us hear the voice that cries out in the wilderness, and let us respond with peace. Amen.